Okay, so this is the last moment about a point. Uh, and I think we're kind of beating a dead horse. But uh, I'll do another one. So, and, and these, I think it is important to make sure you can do this. It's very common to have these forces uh, along these dimensions, the so breaking forces into their components using their dimensions is, is very important. R, uh, F equals FU, where U is R over R, um, is important. So here, I want the moment of the force about point O. Moment about point O equals R cross F. Now, I could do these separately. I could do these separately, but they're acting at the same point. I can just, two vectors that are acting at the same point, I can combine, right? Uh, in addition, they have the same R. You know, they have the same moment arm uh, from O to A. Uh, so I'm going to combine these first. So, so first let me kind of look at F. We'll do FB first. Let me break it up into its components. What do I do if I see dimensions and I want to break things up into their components? F equals F u, where u is r over r. So this fb is going to be 780 times r over r. So the r is how far does it go in x, how far does it go in y, how far does it go in z. Uh, how far does it go in x? Nothing in the x, but how far does it go in the y? 2.5. This is really a 2d, but I'll, I'll kind of act like it's a 3d, use my r over r process. 2.5 in the j. And then how far does it go in the k? It goes down 6 in the k, divided by the magnitude, 2.5 squared, 6 squared, take the square root. And so FB, I've got 300J minus 720, 720k. Units are newtons. So, so it was really 2D. You could have seen 2.5 by uh, 6 and, and done that. I kind of did it the longer way that I normally use for 3D problems. Uh, but either way, you should get 300 in the J and down 720 in the K. All right, put that in my back pocket. Now let me do FA, or sorry, FC. So FC is 420 times its R over R. How far does it go in the X direction? 2 in the I, backwards 3 in the J, and down 6 in the K, divided by 2 squared, 3 squared, 6 squared. Is that 7? Uh, but e either way, I would multiply this through and get FC is 120 in the I minus 180 in the J minus 360 in the K. So that was that was old stuff, right? If, if you can't break forces into their components, you need to go back to the previous videos and review dimensions, corner direction angles, and spherical angles to make sure you can break them up into their components. All right. So now that I've got the forces, because they're acting at the same point, I can go ahead and just add them and find the resultant. The resultant is 120 in the I plus 120 in the J minus 1080 in the K. So that is going to be uh, in Newtons. My force that I'm going to use to calculate the moment about O. What's the R? I didn't really talk about this, but what is the R? The R needs to go from the point to the force, from the point to either of them, we could say positive 6k. My r is positive 6k. So now I've got both the force and the r. And, and don't get these, this, don't get, like I said, don't get this r confused with these r's. Right? These r's were the line of action of the force. This r is from the point to the force. Different r's. Right? Very different r's. So now I can do my uh, moment. I can do my cross product. I, J, K. 0, 0, 6, right? The R we're going to use is positive 6K. And this is 120, 120, negative 1080. So this, my I component, would be 0 minus 6 times 120 minus my J component would be 0 minus 6 times this 120. And then plus my K component, 0 minus 0, actually, so this moment would be negative 720 in the I, positive 720 in the J. Units, Newton meters, there we go, moment about a point. So that kind of concludes moment about a point. Uh, what's the main idea? Notice that it's moment, notice that it's asking for a moment, and notice that it's asking for a moment about a point, and it's R cross F, the R 
goes from the point to the force. The F is just the force, but make sure it's written correctly in, um, in vector form or Cartesian notation. All right?